Hey guys, this is the Fated Battle. Welcome back to Let's Play Snatcher. Last time we arrived at Freddy's apartment to find out if he's a Snatcher, we talked to his wife. And now, because we went into the bathroom and found out that they have sunscreen in the friggin' bathroom and it's winter time, turns out they are the Snatchers we are looking for. And now we're, we're talking to uh, his wife here. And yeah, you can see the nice metal coming out of her face. Real disgusting. It's almost like Terminator kind of style. So now we're gonna talk to her. We'll continue with the game. Let's do it. John did that to her. Die, Junker. Whoa. Uh. Oh, there we go. I had to put my uh. Whoa. I had to put my controller onto analog for some reason. Anyway. Messed her up! Jeez, those things don't go down easy. So, this is a snatcher, huh? I certainly hope it's dead. Yeah, me too. Uh, let's see. Alright, let's look at the remains. Yeah, no joke. Okay, let's investigate the remains. Completely terminated. It was Lisa and Freddy who killed John. Freddy, that's right. So where's he? We can contact the junk collection team later. Let's get out of this apartment for now. What? We're not gonna look at her a little more often? A little more? Okay. We're outside now. Hey, the light turned on. What the? A light just came on. There's not supposed to be anybody in there. Perhaps Freddy has returned. There's only one entrance, and we're standing right next to it. How did he get in there? Shall we investigate? Uh, yeah, let's go back in. Uh, you don't have to knock. We're... The door should be open. I guess because it's an electronic lock, it locked automatically. Hey, knock. I don't know. Open the damn door. Huh. Uh, let's see. Let's look at the lock. Oh, they're freaking open it! What are you doing? Uh, yeah, so freaking open the door! Oh my, oh, open the door. Metal. Open it. Okay, now establishing Alpha 1 link. Link made. Executing search for lock code of apartment 202. Hurry it up! Just a bit longer. I'm in Alpha One's maintenance records for the MR district. Lock code found. Now opening the door. Okay. You know, for a guy, uh, for a guy who's a lot about protocol, he he just like totally bypassed that. He's like, I'm gonna open the door now. I guess because we're chasing a snatcher, it's gonna be okay. All right, so let's look around. Let's see. Wait, I don't remember that being there. Huh. Okay. You. Disgusting. Well, let's listen, I guess. Alright, let's look around the area more. Okay. That's the area. Oh, wait. Let's go to the bathroom then. Let's do it. Freddy's bathroom. Huh? The bathtub is empty. That thing was filled with water just a few minutes ago. He's a water type no Pokemon. Damn. Where is he? It's behind me. Gillian, behind you. Did I get him? Boom! That was close. You're lucky I was here to save your skin. Who are you? Who's that? Me? Random Haji. Bounty hunter. What? Bounty hunter? Yes, Gillian, a bounty hunter. As the Junker profession is so dangerous, their numbers have fallen dramatically over the past few years. As a result, the government decided to put a price on snatchers. 
Hunter's heads in order to encourage private citizens to cooperate in the effort to track them down. Naturally, these bounty hunters must register with the authorities. You said your name's Random, right? Now, what did you do? Follow me here? Yeah, you got it. Investigations aren't my style. You track them down, I take them out. You have the legal obligation to state your bounty hunter registration number. Please do so now, immediately. <sighs> BH75001 Random Hajil. That's R A N D O M H A J I L E. BH75001 Random Hajil. That's confirmed. I officially recognize you as a legal bounty hunter. Wow. Killian, records indicate that he has already disposed of three snatchers just this month. Counting Freddy, that makes four. Wow. Four? I've been at this a lot longer than you have. Just relax, rookie. I ain't no rookie. So, Junker Boy, let me give you a little tip. You might already know, but Snatcher's weak point is their artificial skin. If they sit out in the sun too long, they get cancer. That's why they set up a hospital to treat this little problem of theirs. You find it, you can take them out, roots and all. Where did you get all your information? Wait a sec. You stole it from Gibson, didn't you? That's not really important. But now that Gibson's out of the picture, I need you to get busy. I track them down and you junk them. Is that the idea? Anyhow, it seems Gibson found that hospital. He must have left behind some information about it. What do you mean, seems? Don't you know anything about it? Hey, investigations are your job, right? I owe you one, Random. Yeah, I'll get it out of you later. See ya, Junker Boy. Is that a one-wheel motorcycle? Snatcher controlled hospital, eh? There's bound to be more than a few of them in there. A motor unicycle? Una motorcycle? Anyway. Alright, so Act 1 is over. Man, that's quite a ride. Would you like to save your investigation up to this point? No. Act 2, Cure. Okay, so we're starting Act 2 today. That's cool. I haven't played this game in a while, so I, I forget what's, what's next. I, I guess we're going out to the hospital. Hey. Okay, let's try to sort all this out. Metal Gear, would you mind helping out? Not at all. Now projecting recorded video images. Gibson calls in and you two immediately head for the abandoned factory in the M District. But when you arrived, Gibson had already been killed by someone or something at the factory. From hair and skin samples recovered from his body, you determined that the perpetrators were two snatchers, one male and one female. In addition, from a floppy disk containing notes from Gibson's investigation, yes. you discovered that Snatchers have a crucial defect. Gibson was apparently killed because he had learned about this weak point. And this weak point is a key difference between them and real humans. The artificial skin? Their artificial skin cannot tolerate ultraviolet rays. They're like Long vampires. Exposure causes it to become cancerous, a form of melanoma. This severely limits the places and times that they can operate to midwinter, when daylight hours are their shortest, and of course at night. And it looks as if it will take at least six months for them to develop a new skin which overcomes this fault. So their biggest weak point was that they had to keep themselves protected from ultraviolet rays over the past six months. Hmm, Gibson really put his earlier training as a science cop to good use in figuring this one out. It was a science that's cop? why they use plenty of sunscreen, even in the middle of the winter. As a result of this, it becomes clear that there is one thing they must have to continue their survival. And that is medical facilities, where they can treat artificial skin which has become cancerous. And it appears that Gibson may have located a hospital used for this very purpose. In an effort to determine where Gibson had been investigating, you analyzed his stomach contents, found buffalo.
buffalo meat and headed to the only place in the city that serves it, Outer Heaven. Isabella Velvet, a dancer at this place, gives you a description, which allows you to put together a montage of the man Gibson was trying to track down. You then ran this montage through the city's data bank using Jordan. And that gave you two suspects, Ivan Rodriguez and Freddie Nielsen. But from the condition of Ivan's skin, you determined that there was no possibility he could be a snatcher. There was no evidence at all of melanoma. But as he was in possession of Liquid Sky, you turned him over to narcotics. Following that, a search of Freddie Nielsen's home turned up large quantities of sunscreen. Nielsen's wife, Lisa Nielsen, turns out to be a snatcher, and you dispose of her. And you confirm that the skin cells found under Gibson's nails were from Lisa. Freddie Nielsen also turns out to be a snatcher, and you dispose of him as well. The hair sample that was found in Gibson's hand is confirmed as being from Freddie. So you are able to determine that these two snatchers, Freddie and Lisa, were the ones who killed Gibson. That about sums it up, yes. I like that part. Kind of gives you a summary of what's what happened in the game up to that point. But then we have a problem. The bounty hunter who saved you, Seed, Random Hajil. An investigation uncovers that the information he provided when he filled out his bounty hunter registration was completely false. What? So who is this guy? Friend or foe? What about the bank account he was having his bounty deposited into? It was a common account used for paying bounty. And the funds were retransferred from there. We couldn't learn anything from it. Mm. Thank you, Metal. So yeah, for the real fun. That's about it. The hospital that Gibson had tracked down. If we can hit that, we may be able to shut down this snatch operation of theirs. Yeah, snatch or if operation. we can find some kind of patient records there, we may be able to find them quite easily. So, Little John's memory might provide us with an important lead. That's right. If we're lucky, there may be something left that we can work with. Navigators record everything their junkers do, just in case. Just in case, huh? Well, this looks like one of those cases. Harry should have recovered it by now. Go see how he's doing. Seed, I'm counting on you to find this hospital. You can count on me. Sir, you and your, uh, okay, um, anyway, <laughs> I was going to say something, but I totally forgot what I was going to say. All right, so let's go over to the engineering, uh, engineering room and talk to Harry. Be like, hey, what's up, Harry? You drunk again? Now you're good? All right. About time you got here, Gillian. Hey. Got little John's memory all ready for you. Calm down, Are buddy. Are able to get anything from it? Just relax. I'll put it on the monitor for you now. All right, cool. I'm afraid it was almost completely destroyed beyond recovery. Those snatchers, they sure do a thorough job. What do you mean? Wasn't there anything left? Like I said, just relax. I was able to get one video image out of it. Oh, really? I don't have the slightest what this is, but it's definitely got something to do with Jean's investigation. This is it. Hospital Olean. So, Gillian, do you uh, have any idea what this is? Hospital Olean? This is almost certainly the snatcher-controlled hospital that Gibson was looking for. Hmm. You ought to run the name through Jordan, but uh, if that hospital is not legit, the data won't mean anything. This city is packed with unregistered hospitals. The sign in this picture looks curved. This word Olean might continue past the edge of the image. Yeah, maybe. I've stored this image. You can view it at any time. Oh, thanks, buddy. Just use the graphic memory command in the possessions menu. All right. So, running a long time, so I'm going to stop here for now. But yeah, we got some, we got some stuff to do next time. We got to figure out what's going on with that hospital, see if it's real, and then go there if we can find it. So yeah, well, we'll pick up next time. Though, thanks for watching. Be sure to tune in next time. Go to the hospital and check it out. See ya.